Democratic Republic of Congo. DRC welcomes East African forces except Rwanda. The deployment of the East African Standby Force, EASF, to Eastern DRC called for by Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta is expected to be confirmed Sunday. The 10 EASF members are Burundi, Comoros, Djibouti, Ethiopia, Kenya, Rwanda, Seychelles, Somalia, Sudan, and Uganda. Due to the current rift between the DRC and Rwanda, the government of the DRC is demanding that Rwanda not deploy troops to the DRC to South Kivu, North Kivu, and Ituri provinces. Last week, the government of the DRC banned all flights from Rwanda to the DRC because of allegations Rwanda is supporting M23 rebels operating in eastern DRC, which Rwanda denies. Both nations also accuse the other of firing artillery rounds across the border. More recently, a DRC soldier was shot and killed by a Rwandan police officer 25 meters inside the Rwandan border after he allegedly fired on and injured two Rwandan police officers. According to the New Times, Rwandan Minister of Foreign Affairs Shuti Manesi said, quote, Rwanda as a member of EAC will definitely contribute to the forces because security matters in the DRC are a concern to us just as they are a concern to each of the DRC neighbors. We definitely have hope that this force will restore peace in the Eastern DRC, unquote. Congolese military and security expert Nikais Kibo Bell, however, said that the upcoming military operation is, quote, a good initiative, especially as all neighboring countries aspire to peace and trade, unquote. Adding that there are, quote, fears that some divergent interests of different forces may occur and weaken that good initiative, unquote. According to the East African, over 800 insurgencies operate in the three provinces the EASF is scheduled to deploy to. Somalia. 70 al-Shabaab insurgents killed by Somali military and residents. 70 al-Shabaab insurgents were killed during a thwarted attack by the group in the central town of Bado on Friday after morning prayers. The attackers were repelled by regional forces and residents. According to Reuters, Somali Information Minister Galmadug Ahmed Shire said residents shot at the insurgents from the windows of their houses. A would-be suicide bomber who planned to detonate a vehicle-borne improvised explosive device was arrested by the military. According to Shire, two children and a cleric were killed during the fighting. Six soldiers died during the attack. Although it still conducts attacks, al-Shabaab has lost much of its territory to government forces.